I am so geeking out. So nerdy, so great. To see stuff like this, this is so built into my core. I'm like hyper nerding out right now. I never thought I'd be excited to see garages. Strap in, it's gonna get nerdy. What's up Voyagers? Welcome to another episode. My name's Aaron and in 2016, my wife Hayden and I sold everything we owned to travel the US in an RV. Today, I'm taking over the YouTube channel and we are down here in Silicon Valley and nerding out and I'm gonna take you around this entire area where if I had made a couple of different life choices, I'd probably be working out here. It's gonna be this kind of weird tour where we show you a bunch of places where people work and we don't get to go inside of any of them. But then we're gonna see some garages too, so strap in, it's gonna get nerdy. Right now we are outside of the Intel building. For those of you that don't know, I spent my entire career in IT. I started on the technology side of things, being a network administrator, working on servers and firewalls. Now I'm in the development side of the world where I do programming and web applications. But to see stuff like this, this is so built into my core, I'm like hyper nerding out right now. Unfortunately, the museum here is closed, which takes you through the entire history of Intel, starting with the first silicon processors, all the way up into the massive multi-core CPUs that we use today. So here we go. We are leaving Intel and heading on to the next thing. We're here at Apple Campus in Cupertino, and this is the primary headquarters where Apple products are designed, developed, maintained, created. And we're actually gonna go into the Apple corporate store, and that's where all of the employees that work here, live here, go to get their Apple products. Fun fact, when I first got into technology, I actually hated Apple with a passion. Was a diehard Android guy, diehard Linux guy. Last couple years of my career though, I've jumped ship and now I'm an Apple fanboy. And I just got my Apple Watch. I wake up, flex, I'm down that check. No drip this, what? tell him run it off. No sleep, no rest. Might crash, might wreck. But first die, stretch, tell him run it off. I wake up, flex. Got out of there without spending a single dime, even though I wanted to spend all the dimes all the thousands and thousands of dollars that I could have easily just been like, I want a new laptop, I want a new this. They have really nice Bose active canceling headphones that I'm probably gonna end up get, getting at some point because I need new ones. <sighs> so much monies. So we're here in front of the Apple garage, the boyhood home of Steve Jobs. Even though Apple wasn't actually founded here or built here, all of the original founders of Apple, the company, used to hang out here. So, a little piece of history in the area. We're outside of the Google Visitor Center, and behind me, you will see all of the different Android statues for the different flavors of Android that they released over the years. So you have ice cream sandwich, Froyo, Oreo, Marshmallow. Uh, I think Nougat was one of them. And they're all represented by statues that you can take photos with here. So there's actually a visitor store that you can visit during the week. Unfortunately, it's closed on Saturdays and Sundays, but it's all merchandise, Google apparel, probably devices you can buy in there. But you have to come during the week. Quick little aside, uh, I actually can't stand Google specifically because of the AMP standard that they're forcing upon people and how they're just trying to basically take control of the world and uh, have everything run through their servers, their data centers. They really try to punish you if you don't adhere to their standards. Their motto used to be, and maybe still is, do no evil, but I don't think they're following it anymore. So we're standing in front of the HP garage, which is where William Hewlett and David Packard founded the company Hewlett Packard or HP. Uh, this is widely considered to be the birthplace of Silicon Valley. So the first time the term Silicon Valley was ever used was in 1971 in the electronic news. And it was a throwback to the many chips that are made out of silicon that are used in a lot of computers, tablets, pretty much any electronic that you would use in today's world. And all of that started right here. I am so geeking out. I never thought I'd be excited to see garages, multiple garages in the same tour. Like, you know, the Android statues and the Apple store and the Apple garage, and there's still more to come. Like, 
what a cool place. So NVIDIA is one of the two major manufacturers of video cards that go into all computers, at least desktop computers and most laptops, non-Mac. Uh, I used to run NVIDIA cards back when I was a huge gamer. You'd run the dual GPUs with them connected in an SLI. So nerdy, so great, but uh, yeah. That's NVIDIA, and it looks like that's their old building, and that's something they're building new. Oh my god, I'm nerding out right now. We're here in front of the like symbol outside of Facebook at One Hacker Way in Menlo Park. This is right outside the Facebook headquarters, which has moved a couple of times throughout the company's history. And on the back is an old defunct Sun Microsystems sign, which means this must have been where they used to be headquartered but I don't think they exist anymore. It's really interesting, there's no signage whatsoever here. But imagine just going to work here every day, like you've gotta just, you're a number. Like no, you, nobody knows who you are except for your team. I mean, you're a really, really well paid number, but you're just a number doing Facebook, Facebookiness evil out there in the world. For a little bit different uh, stop, we're in front of Impossible Foods, which as a vegan is a really exciting company. They've been blowing it up. They're in all sorts of crazy partnerships. They've got the most meatiest vegan beef patty that's available on the market. They're in places like Burger King, places like White Castle, and we try to support them everywhere we can. So kind of a just a, a cool spot to tie in what we normally do on all of our videos and vlogs into what we're doing today here in Silicon Valley. We're at Bucks of Woodside, which is an iconic place here in Silicon Valley. This is where some of the first PayPal demos were ever held and even the founding of Hotmail happened here. So on any normal day, not on the weekend, you could see anybody giving tech demos, trying to court venture capitalists, get funding for the startups. So they have both the Beyond Burger and the Impossible Burger, but just because we went to the Impossible Foods location, we went with the Impossible Burger. Mm, so good. So that was the most divey, unassuming place. I mean, it, it feels just like, uh, you know, your, your town diner. I can't believe that some of like the biggest tech demos have been held here, biggest companies have been signed here. There's so much money that just changes hands and gets invested. It, and it's like kind of like a Denny's almost. <laughs> it's just, but it's it's cool that it's this iconic and this well known. And it's just down the street from Sand Hill Road, which is what they kind of consider VC Row. That's where all the venture capitalists apparently have their offices. So we're gonna drive down there right now and check it out. I don't think there's really anything official to see here. Okay. I just wanted to drive down it. So, Mr. Turn accidentally turned into one of those uh, office buildings and oddly enough saw Robert Half on the uh, one of the placards and they contact me about once every six months for if I'm interested in jobs in certain areas. Which is kind of cool, kind of comes full circle. Our final stop of the day is of course YouTube because without their platform, you wouldn't be watching this video right now. So. Unfortunately, like most of the other places, this is a, a place of business. We can't go in. Uh, and there was a shooting or a threat of shooting that happened here not that long ago. So everything's kind of really locked down, but uh, here we are. So if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. And if you like what we're doing, hit that like button and maybe share this video. Anywhere that you would have gone in Silicon Valley that we didn't, let us know in the comments down below. Otherwise, we will see you later. I love my fans, don't need no friends, I got my homies Thought I could trust you, I find out you tried to zone me I'm number one up on that court, I'm Nick McGrady